I've been spending, you know, some of my sessions in my quest going through some use cases. Can I make an avatar on the Oculus Quest and animate them? And the answer is yes. Can I make a level in Sculpt VR and upload it into Unity? The answer is yes. And can I make dope 3D renders using Gravity Sketch and Sculpt VR and Tilt Brush? And yes, yes, yes. So um, without further ado, um, here are some use cases for the Quest as a gateway to creative freedom. Enjoy. So first things first, let's see if we can animate. And uh, the answer is yes. So what I'm doing here is I'm making a simple T-pose character. It's not fancy, just testing a theory. Um, I found that with Sculpt VR, which is the app I'm using on this Oculus Quest, that um, you can actually make some pretty detailed stuff. And um, had I wanted to make this guy um, more grandiose, I could have. But, you know, I didn't want to spend a lot of time on the art if I wasn't going to be able to export it and upload it. And so this is Mixamo.com. Um, you upload your art. You In this scenario, I picked an asymmetrical kind of alignment. And so... Um, they allow me to turn off the mirror mode and, you know, put where the joints should be. And they use an algorithm to um, rig this guy. And so what you do is you can just pick um, any one of those things to test out what it looks like. And once he's rigged, you click download. And it downloads as an FBX file, which you can upload into Unity or all sorts of different programs. Um, so I have a character, and what about an environment? And so again, I am using Sculpt VR, and I am probably only, um, I have probably only been in Sculpt VR for um, about an hour, and I am just still kind of like learning my way around the UI, but it's pretty simple. But the cool thing about it is the layers. They give you the layers, and so what happens when you make items on separate layers is you get these clean intersections and so you see clean line clean line but all of a sudden um, if I put this guy right there you see how sloppy it gets because it's the geometry is trying to um, accommodate these new things and so when you use new layers um, to separate your items you get um, the separation of the elements and so now you see I have these really clean, hard edges when the buildings meet the floor. And um, I'm just going around, just slapping these here because um, I'm just going for it. And through the magic of editing, you know, um, I shortened this for the video. Um, but what I am going to do is um, explore this scene using the built-in... Sculpt VR um, exploring feature that they have in there. And um, right now in the video, what you see is uh, me just adding some topology. And that's just because I'm exploring with these, uh, with these tools. And um, I already know that I'm going to put this thing in uh, a texture painter and um, that those topology hard lines are going to really be nice when I um, decide to paint it. So you see in the video now is this built-in tool inside of Sculpt VR that lets you navigate um, the art you created. And you can see that when um, you're at a very small scale that these buildings are actually pretty legit. You know, like they're not, they don't have windows and, or anything like that. But there is a sense of depth that you can only really get in VR. And... Um, you know, for a relatively inexpensive app, I'm able to make this scene and explore it. And I can even export it, the OBJ, the object file, and the FBX uh, with, with color information. And so um, in this scenario, I disregarded the color information and I'm painting it with a program called 3D Coat. And I'm using a... Um, you know, some of these pre-made uh, textures just to, you know, 
just to turn this Sculpt VR practice model into something that looks a little legit. And so um, as it is right here, you can see that I'm just twisting the model around and putting some textures on there. Um, you could also explore a program called Substance Painter. Um, or you could use uh, Blender or something for free. Um, there's a ton of options out there for 3D modelers. And um, you don't necessarily have to dump a lot of money into um, the software, but I have found that 3D coat. It's really nice for what I do, which is concept art and uh, making art for myself that I think is cool. And so what I'm doing here is I'm trying to find the right angle to take a snapshot. And I'm going to change the lighting up a little bit. And I'm going to upload it into a website called Deep Dream Generator, which lets me um, use these AI uh, Deep Dream filters to um, extract out some weirdness from the art. And uh, I'm using Affinity Photo um, to do some overlay and um, get some color in there and make it a little bit more artsy. And so after playing with it for a minute or two, um, jumped into Gravity Sketch and was trying to see what I could pull off. And um, I have this on my PC VR, so I have spent some time in it. This is one of the programs that requires um, some patience because there's just so many tools and so many capabilities. But with some of these uh, tools, I was able to come up with a, a concept bong relatively quickly <laughs> and it's uh it's not perfect um but it's simple and i did it on my quest using a uh an expensive program called gravity sketch and a lot of you might be very familiar with tilt brush tilt brush is um been around for about three years four years on pc vr and it's pretty fully featured on the quest though the um <laughs> the memory and the snapdragon on the quest don't allow you to geek out um, you know, as hard as you can on a computer where you can literally just um, make a whole city if you wanted to. But the tools are powerful enough to create some things. And um, so right now I'm uh, copying and pasting this, um, you know, this beach kind of uh, vibe. And I'm using the square guide and the diamond hall to make some water and then i'm uh, zooming in there and using the guides again to make some um, kind of like stone walls so uh, i'd like to take the time to thank um, the subscribers and it's been a while since i made a video and um, really i've just been really busy i wasn't near my computer this summer I was living out of a bag, really. Um, we moved from Dallas to Denver, and um, I enrolled my son into um, a nice school. And, um, you know, right now I'm on daddy support everything mode. And so um, I'm from the California Bay Area, and I have a business out here. I'm a tequila guy. And so um, I haven't really been able to nourish that business while I've been over in Dallas um, taking care of the baby daddy deal um, but you know my family's happy and uh, I never expected myself to be separated from my son I've never been separated from my son but you know right now his um, mom is not in a financial position to provide um, and so somebody's got to do it and so um a little window into my life and shit I'm going through and you know maybe I'll make some art about it soon um, because to be frank uh, it hurts man you know like when you have a kid uh, that kid is your heart or it should be and um, you know but we talk every day and you know it's kind of beautiful in um, 2019 that we have like video chats and he can read and send messages and so um, he's a daddy's boy and he sends me pictures and videos and highs and gifs and um, emojis all the time, and it's really nice. But um, right now, I've got to focus on making sure they got a roof over their head and food in their bellies and um, that he's in a good school. And, um, you know, those things, uh, those things are happening. Anyways, uh, what you're seeing here is uh, me using the cylinder 
and the mirror tool, the cylinder guide and the mirror tool so that I'm not having to do this more than once. And um, you'll see I just made a thicker gray hole brush on top of the old one so that it sticks out on the same guide and it's being replicated on the other side. And uh, that's what it looks like out of Poly. Um, I uploaded it to Poly from the Quest. And, um, and then on Unity, I downloaded what's called the Poly SDK. And that allows you to have integration with your uploads and different Poly assets. And so right there, I was able to find it super quickly. And uh, I plop it in. And as you can see, the um, diamond brush is there and uh, the castle's there. And now if you knew anything about Unity, which I end up to know only the smidgening -ist of, you'd be able to do some shit. Pardon my language. Um, so, yeah, that's another Deep Dream render of the same scene. Just to let you know that you can make art with your quest.